Okay, what we're gonna do in this presentation <laughs> is, uh, see that's a trick right there, complimentarity. I hit the tambourine hard as I can, but it doesn't break. Um, we're gonna talk about, you know, I'll say it when the tape starts rolling too, about uh, issues of phys physics, um, African cosmology, um, fractal geometry, and Gullah Geechee culture, insofar as um, syncopation and polyrhythms are concerned, and how those things in African American, Gullah Geechee African inspired culture kind of personify a lot of these ideas in fractal geometry and in quantum physics through their co wider or broader cosmology. Okay, and I'm not going to go into it until I get to it. But um, and this is what we'll be doing. And some of it, when we start the tape rolling, I'll need like response from you immediately so we can't, because of the time on the tape, we can't have any shyness. So I would like you to, you know, give what you got when, we, when it's time. One of the first things I'll deal with is uh, some Gullah language. Um, we're going to be dealing with the idea of polyrhythm. And polyrhythm is just many different rhythms at the same time, going at the same time, like creating like a cosmos of uh, sound and vibratory energy, which is very fractal-like and very quantum physics-like, because you got stuff happening and not happening at, at the same time. When a body plays polyrhythm, like some of what I did on the drums and I'm just warming up, or with a stick or with a tambourine, you're playing many different rhythms. When you're playing, you're resting too. So if I'm playing here, And, yet, and then I use my voice or with my feet, of course. Now, there are places where I'm playing, resting with my voice, but playing with my hands, playing with my feet, resting with my feet, but it's all in the same body. It's all in the same context. So what am I doing? Am I not playing or am I playing? Okay, this is the issue of complementarity in physics and also in African cosmology and culture. I don't want to give it away yet. <laughs> but um, so... What I need you to do is when, when I ask you to participate, um, there are going to be times when I'm going to ask you to do some of the same things. When you use your voice, you use your hands. When you use your hands, you use your feet. Okay, so you're trying to create this gestalt or this kind of cosmos of, of activity, okay, that's going to be going on, and we're going to express ourselves through, okay? So if I do a call and response with you, and I say, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Exactly. Okay? If I go, ha, 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 that too, like complementarity in, in physics, because you have stuff moving and not moving at the same time. You have the paradox, and this is what it's all about. And this is where it kind of clashes with, but also goes along with classic thought too, okay? Uh, yeah, I can't give that away with, with the clock roll. <laughs> uh, so first, before the clock rolls, I would like to say that... Uh, We're going to deal with polyrhythm, polyrhythm in English, but in Gullah, it would be polyrhythm. So what we're doing is becoming kind of the drum through our voice and through our bodies actually playing. We're, again, splitting it because we're the person thing at the same time. We're the thinking drum. We're the talking drum, but we're not the implement. We're actually the physically thinking and talking drum because now we turn our bodies into it. So when you say polyrhythm, if you could say polyrhythm, can you say rhythm? rhythm. So hit me with the di rhythm. 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 So polyrhythm, polyrhythm. polyrhythm. Not bad. Polyrhythm, polyrhythm. polyrhythm. Very good. Try this phrase. Many different rhythms at the same time. Many at the same time. Not bad. I'm impressed. <laughs> <laughs> Try it again. So you want to hit. This is driving me. So you want to say, when you hit it, hit it. Many different rhythms at the same time. 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 So do a clap or a stomp or something along with it. Try it with me one time and try to do your own thing. So many different rhythms at the same time. 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 
different rhythms at the same time. Many different rhythms at the same time. Many different rhythms at the same time. Y'all back. Give yourself a hand. Y'all back. Y'all back. Y'all back. So, when we get into it, we'll really get into that. And I got some other bags of tricks that I'll throw out too. Um, one is, and this is when I say no shyness, it will be improvisation, which means that, you know, I'll throw out a lick to you, and you'll throw back, but when you throw back, like you want to throw back a little bit different. So if I throw out and call him, it's like, Not bad. So, there'll be a point where it's really going to go crazy, and then you have to let loose. Please, just let loose and do it, okay? Because this, this is what we're talking about. We're talking about polyrhythm, and we're talking about issues of complementarity and physics, which are two very similar things. And we're talking about cosmology, and in African cosmology, African-American Gullah Geechee cosmology, too, there's like a weird waver cross between past, present, and future spirit and life, okay? And you're going to be surprised in a talk who actually speaks to that at one point, who says something about that. And you'll be like, okay. Um, so where are we at time? Nobody's time? No, there's a specific, like, start time there. Have to do. Five more minutes? Okay. So I'm just going to break, let y'all think about that a little bit. Oh, I forgot one thing. There's going to be a point where we're all going to play. I have enough instruments here, believe it or not, and they've got bags of them up there for everybody to play something. So most everybody will be able to play an instrument. So when they give them out, take them heartily and get ready to play. And people who I call and ask to come up here, please don't be shy. Just come on up because we, we'll be running on the clock. And we want to get as much of you guys actually playing and, and trying some of this as we possibly can.
Now, very good. Next phase. When you sing it, use your hands. Here we go. Excellent. Next. Now, use your voice, your hands, and your feet. Rhythms at the same time. Many different rhythms at the same time. Many different rhythms at the same time. Many different rhythms at the same time. Ba ba bo ba ba. Ha 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 What? <laughs> in the rhythm time space of some very interesting overlaps and intersections. That is, some parts of quantum physics, fractal geometry, and African slash Gullah Geechee cosmology. When where the intersections are and all these things, like the moving body, the drum folk, the cross between person and thing, the intersection of sound that is audible and sound is not audible, but vibrations that play and hit your body. The difference between going from point A to point B as navigation or teleology or staying at point A and going from A to Z because you're doing aggregate rhythms that equal as much space as going from A to B or more. So it's a whole nother cosmos of understanding and interpretation of rhythm, time, and space coming out of African-inspired cosmology. Let me read this to you. This discussion includes references from physics, yet differs from an analysis of physics. It is, however, a look at the emotional, spiritual, intellectual, perpetual, perceptual, conceptual potential of expression in quantum scope terms. It explores the creative and artistic range in expression that is the music we can't hear and the language we can't speak. It relates to issues of complementarity in physics, Einstein said, okay? We are faced with a new kind of difficulty. We have two contradictory pictures of reality. Separately, neither of them fully explains the phenomena of light, but together they do. Everett's interpretation, and similarly, every conscious act of perception bifurcates the universe. Okay, so here we go. Complementary, here's a classic issue in it. You see two faces, and you see a box. And you see a box, then you see two faces. But at some little teeny tiny point, you see the boss and two faces at the same time. That's what we're going to play with, and that's the space I'm talking about. That's the Gullah Geechee space. That's the African cosmology space. The conflation of past, present, and future, where the past, present, and future kind of blended and emulsified consciousness and cosmos. So we're going to play with that space first. Make a circle like this coming at you. Now, make a circle going away from you. One comes to you, one goes away, okay? One comes to you, one, they're in opposite directions, okay? Now, here's another one, here's another one. Make a hand and a fist. Open hand, close hand. Now change. Now just keep changing. Okay? Okay, that's another one. Here's one slower but trickier. Grab your nose and grab your ear. Cross, across, and across. Okay, now touch your legs and grab again. 
okay? Right there. Okay? This is the space I'm talking about. You feel that little weirdness, that weird space, and you're trying to do that, and it's like, oh, but what is going on? This, this is polyrhythm, and that's the place of it. It's in that space, but instead of going past that space or smoothing through it or allowing that space to be, quote, an interruption, you jump into that space. And there it is, something new, unique, and different that opens up thought, that opens up the future, that opens up a gateway to new consciousness and ideas and expression, and particularly in rhythm. Okay, this, a circle with a black side, imagine it's black instead of blue, black side and a white side, when you spin it, the navigation of the mind says great. The mind says it's great. When it spins, your mind tells you it's great, but it's never great. It's always the same. There's a navigation that's your mind, which we call sometimes intuition. Then there's another kind of navigation, which is more like the truth, where things actually lie and are. And there's a space in that truth where you can mine out just beautiful, beautiful things. Now, woo, Bessie Jones said, good God. <laughs> Bessie Jones said, um, Emma don't clap against me. Emma clapped with me when Bess Lomax was trying to explain about uh, classic European uh, rhythm tradition, which is an on-beat, an off-beat, an upbeat, and a downbeat. In Gullah Geechee, you have that, but you don't have it, too. You don't have rhythms that become syncopation because you play one rhythm against another. Let's clap this. Let's go. So the rhythm isn't just for framing the time like this. Down, up. Down, up, no. What the Africans did in the African-American Gullah Geechee, they came and they added this idea of very ultrified syncopation and polyrhythm. Think of it as wires. If you had a wire, so let's say wire, 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 all a foot long, like a note. So the Africans said, what if we add heat to the wire and stretch it? What if we hit it with a hammer and flatten it out across the universe? Then you get a different understanding of time space. You get syncopation like this. understand? You understand? So that you can stop. So the very nature of rhythm and time space has changed. It's desolidified and fluidized. So there's a whole nother sense of it. Einstein said, for us physicists believe the separation between past, present, and future is only an illusion, although a convincing one. This is, this is Albert Einstein. Now we get Afro Einstein, because Joseph Holloway says, human life is measured from beginning to end in the West. Africans in Gullah Geechee see time as a continual phenomena with no real separation of the human world from that of the spirits. So now he's speaking about something in the 20th century, but about African consciousness and cosmology that had existed for hundreds of years, thousands of years. But you got Einstein, a physicist, a very intelligent man, talking about just now in the 20th century. So we get an Afro-Einstein, and we get an amalgamation of things. Now, another con idea. We're going to do this in a second. This is the idea of the cancer set and fractal geometry. That is simply, and this is the heart of syncopation. You have a line. Drop the middle of that line out. Now, drop the middle of that line out. Right? Now, drop the middle of that line out. It goes forever, and it never stops. It increases exponentially to forever, like two fish and two loaves with Jesus. It keeps coming back. Forever. It's a classic cancer set. Okay? So it's the idea of having this kind of geometry that's asymmetrical and is more like nature that exists. Let's do that again. Syncopation. Just say, syncopation, say. Syncopation, what? Say what? What? What you say? Now do something. Here we go. Biggie bang, biggie bang, biggie bang, biggie bang, go. Ba, 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 
Piggy V Fuck Dab Fuck Dab 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 Fuck Dab Fuck Now you see what I'm doing? I'm playing one time, but I'm in a whole nother time space. Ladies and gentlemen, David, come on, folks. <laughs>